Hey guys, welcome back to Rain Dogs Reviews, and today I'm going to be showing you um, how to add on a future pinball table to your front end systems, in this case, Launchbox, because that's what I'm now currently using. Um, I've been spending the last uh, two to three weeks uh, moving all my content from Hyperspin over to Launchbox, but I did hit a brick wall when it came down to future pinball, and it's only been last say 10 20 minutes that i've actually found out how to get it to work um now i've managed to port the roms over the pinball tables over to launch box without a hitch it's exactly the same as you uh you know launch the different roms over on any other system but when i was then launching the table it was just taking me to the front to the gooey of of um future pinball it wasn't actually loading the table and it wasn't actually playing the table i had to do that manually um but there is a command line that you can put into a uh, launch box that will automatically load the table and play the table for you which is what i've literally just found out in the last 10 20 minutes or so um i did go through the different forums and youtube and loads of different uh, bits and bobs on the internet to try and find out how to do it um, but I found very little information out there um, which is why I'm going to do a tutorial for you so you know exactly how to get future pinball up and running on your launch box front end but not only that getting it to automatically load and launch and play the table for you as well super super easy to use so let's get cracking um so i'm already in launch box as you can see um as you could probably tell from my last video as well from about a week ago um i've done loads of work on it so far um but i'm not going to concentrate on that i'll maybe do that in another video on how my build is is progressing but uh you can see now i've got about 17 18 systems up and running now where last week i only had about four or five so you can see how quick and easy and fast you can get your, your own launch box uh, up and running, your own systems up and running. But anyway, let's get to uh, the point of the video on how to get Future Pinball working correctly. So what I'm going to do guys is, like always, if you've been using launch box before, you probably know how to do this anyway. But I'm going to go to my tools and I'm going to import a ROM file. Um, I'm going to click next, select the a file you wish to import, so I'm going to add a file. So I'm only going to do one table, I'm not going to do a bunch of them. Um, let's just do the one to get us, get us cracking. So I'm going to go to the destination where my table is, or ROM is, whatever you want to call it. So mine is on my arcade uh, external hard drive, which is my G drive. It's in emulators folder, future pinball folder, tables folder, and then I'm going to select a table. So let's do, I don't know, let's do JAWS. So I'm going to open that. So now as you can see, it's selected the, the ROM path, G, which is my external drive, emulators folder, pinball folder, tables, folder and the JAWS ROM. So I'm going to click next to that. Platform for the imported ROMs is going to be of course where is he? Future Pinball. Click next. So choose an emulator. Now of course I've already added on Future Pinball but if you hadn't you'd have to go to add type in Future Pinball in the emulator name then go to browse or find the emulator application or exe file and then in the associated platforms you want to type in again future pinball in here as well once you've done all that it'll be it'll be there for you but because I've already done it I'm just going to click on Future Pinball because I've already added it on. So once I've done all that, I click Next. 
use the file in its current location, get the information from Wikipedia and all that nonsense. I'm not going to bother with all the artwork yet. I'm going to get that later. Uh, next, and then finish. And then that game's been imported successfully. So if I go to my future pinball platform, you can see now Jaws has been imported over. Now, this is what happens. So if I click on Jaws at the moment, it's going to launch future pinball because I've already told um, launch box where the exe file is but as you can see it just launches the future pinball GUI it doesn't actually launch uh, or load the table and launch and play the game and this is the the wall I was hitting I didn't know how to get it to load the table for me and launch the actual game for me so what you have to do if I go back to my launch box if I right click on JAWS and edit, you will see that there's the launcher that I selected. But if I go to emulation, there's the emulator that I'm using. Again, we just don't done all that. But what I need to do is I need to use a custom command line parameter. So if I just put a tick in the box there, you need to type in forward slash open space quotation and then the destination of the ROM itself in this case it's not transformers it's going to be JAWS so that was forward slash open space quotation marks uh, the destination of the uh, the table or ROM so in this case, again, on mine, it's my G drive, which is my external hard drive. Uh, colon, forward, uh, backslash, emulator, backslash, future pinball, backslash, tables, backslash, jaws, dot, FPT. So again, yours might be different than that. End quotation. Then space, forward, slash, play, space, forward, slash, exit. So basically all I'm doing really there is, apart from this part and this part, that is just the des destination of the ROM itself. So all I've done is, at the beginning, make sure you've got your forward slash open with the quotation marks, and at the end, the quotation marks, forward slash play, forward slash exit, that will open up the ROM, load the table for you, and then automatically play it for you as well. So if I click OK to that, and double click on JAWS this time around, as you can see, it's now automatically loading the table for me, and bish bash bosh, it's automatically playing the table for me as well. And there we go. There's Jaws, but in straight from front end. So I hope this helped you guys, because I know I'd spend a couple of hours trying to solve that riddle. But uh, if you're having trouble, the same as I was, getting the uh, tables to automatically load and play in a uh, launch box or big box, that's how you do it. So. Uh, there without we are. Change, so if you want any more tutorials, guys, without passion, um, and without logic, by all means, if I can find out how to do them, I will. But of course, you've got the launch box um, channel it itself as well, where a lot of the guys do their own tutorials. Um, you've got the forums as well. As a lot of the forums do help you. Devil, um, but if you ever need me to do a tutorial yours, for you, just give me, give me a like. Give me, give me a, a, a subscribe, and I'll, I'll, I'll get one up for you. Anyway, catch you later.